believe the only thing you can do is have is the jabs, do like Iron Mountain, which is like a 12 frame mid, even though it's like super risky. And you can still do like a generic down port to check him out of Party Crasher. Oh, yeah, you already got 17th at Warner Brawl this year. So just one shy of top 16. That was pretty good. All right, let me uh, just pull my mic up real quick. Do your thing, Bravo. I realize uh, this headset, the the mic thing, it just sort of like detracts away from me. Like the longer I wear it. Oh, I'm so, skipping to game one all on the last day. What a costume for Paul Phoenix. I think it suits the theme. He is it a death does. samurai after all. It's facts. Yeah. All he needs I is the sword. Party Crasher is just so good at denying movement. Ooh, command one throw into the death fist. Kerplunk? Okay. I respect that. Oh, what a low parry. No break on that, even though that wasn't the best break. That wasn't the best break to do in that situation. Low parry on the way to get a break. Oh, I'm Party Crasher is just black as day. That's one for you, it's better. Julia's so good, man. The character's crazy. She is stupid good. Oh, shoulder to bring the pressure off. Try to go for a launcher there. That's a little... Nice. Oh, oh my god. Why is her wall carry so good? Hey, man. It's Julia. She's that good. Is there anything she's not good at? That's the question. Uh, she doesn't have, like, amazing And that's three. about it. Fight. That's, that's, that's neglectable. That is negligible. He has like down four, and she just she just has a lot of options to like crush jabs. Oh, I really go for the, uh, the high. No duck on the party crash for three four. Ball into the chest press. Come in two throw. Oh, into the all oh, reversed it. All right, so it breaks off in the last minute. Nice reversal. Didn't do the Paul double Break. reversal. I don't exactly know how that works. Flashing arrow. Death Armor is going for a lot. Oh boy, what a whiff punishes the sidestep. That's going to be one for death with one of the round four. Yeah, that kind of hurt. That hurt to see. Like the moment I saw that, I was like, he's dead. It's over. It's been real. Have a nice day. Not the full wall damage, but still got plenty. I hope you break those, don't touch me. Side step three. I'm trying to trying slowly to prep him towards the wall. So, get, trying to get the oppression session going. Oh, nice whip punish there. That's gonna be one for Yoj99 in match two tonight of Cheese Sticks and Throw Breaks. But yeah, Julia is, Julia is such a crazy character. She denies you just the ability to play Tekken because you can't really sidestep her because she has really good homing moves. Uh, Party Crasher is gonna catch Sidewalk like either direction if she times it properly. Well, she doesn't even have to time it that hard. And uh, she has down three. Which I believe is like a 13 or 14 frame low. Yes. Which is like hella 14 safe. Frames? 14 frames? I'm pretty sure it's 14. Again, somebody in the chat correct me if I'm wrong. Hold up, somebody added me real quick. I'm streaming in case the lobby sinks. Okay, so he was just said he's also streaming the matches in case the lobby desyncs. We should be good, but Yoj is still a real one for that, my man. <laughs> because where would we be without Yoj? There's 99 gods and Yoj is one of them. I think his name is Yoj. No, no, no. It's, no, I, I'm pretty sure he got irritated when people said Yoj. I just say Yoj. I'm pretty. I think he made an entire post saying, "Bro, it's not Yoj. It's just Yoj." I don't know, correct, man. Correct me if I'm wrong again. It's, I, th I think. I think it's the same thing as like Victimo F Ritual and uh, Yoj 99 or Yoj 99 and how we're like. Just continuing to bastardize people's names. Listen, like I, kind of, I kind of find funny <laughs> because when I was uh, playing against a uh, victim, in um, damn, I forgot what the last turn. But was. Yeah, we definitely do screw with everybody's name, especially me. <laughs> I am notorious for that. Because uh, 
think I was playing against Victim, and I think I said like Victimo like five times, and he was like looking around. I don't, I don't know if he, that's like the name he likes to go by, but like I asked him afterwards, like, do you mind being called Victimo? And he's like, fuck, it. I just got accustomed to it. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be going to uh, game two of Yaj. And that's like at least he's chill about it, but don't, but m- don't mess up Fred's name. He's gonna get up in arms about it. <laughs> So yeah, Test Samurai is just being poked to death by Party Crash or Sidestep 4, down 3. AKA Textbook Julia. Paul can't really punish any of those. I think Sidestep 4 is uh, negative 12, it's like hella safe, half screen, uh, just like sidestep low. So he needs to be going for a lot of low parries, which is like Rashid staple. He really hates being low to death. And he also needs to be able to block and duck, like, party crash for the full extension. Because he can't, he can't allow Julia to really play her game, so he has to set up his own game, and just, like, doing raw DF2s, sway back fours, etc, etc. Honestly, really, this game is kind of the product of two characters who are very dangerous once they have the momentum. If you give Paul the ability to play his game, it's not fun because this man does damage real fast. And he hits like a truck. And then you've got Julia, who of course can control the like Damn. pretty much both of these a characters. Ninja now. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think by the time we're no done pain, with this, we're gonna no see pain. like Death Are you playing more of combat now? Yeah, <laughs> we're just going through every costume. Nice DF2 with punish to standing yeah. four. Let's way back to We're gonna go for Demo Man. Well, first he gave us the old Ermac costume, now we got the Scorpion costume. We break those, don't touch me. Oh, into the shoulder. Death. Ermac's red. The old Ermac was red. Original Ermac had a red costume. Ooh, isn't back to play Tempest again. Isn't MK11 Ermac like uh, green or something? Yeah. Uh, I think it's like red and green or something like that. I know MKX, he was red and green. Oh, wait, is he even an MK11 or is he just an MK10 character? M- MKX. Oh, missed the punish in that demo, man. Flashing arrow, full screen. Into the, into the, uh, up with the full standing 3 suit. Don't oh, want them. Three. Clean, brother. Clean. Three. Fight. So that's them right. like going two straight here so far. Oh, what a magic force. Uh, 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 uh. Flashing arrow. Into the wall running 3. Whoa. Just like that. That was a really defensive base round. Perfect. Jesus. We have Paul Phoenix round Eliminator four. versus Julia Tropicana. Fight. Oh, good lord. What a sidestep. Still keeping it fairly center stage. He was just pretty comfortable staying there. So DF112. No duck on that. One of the things I never understood really why they added to Paul was DF112. It's such a crazy, crazy big tool to stop him from mashing because like DF1 is way back. Even though he has like an option to be everything out of that. Well, there's a lot of things about Paul that don't make sense. I think that one is like Fight. We we accept it because everything else about Paul is kinda of ridiculous. <laughs> That is the least of our problems. Like how they gave him an additional mix-up from a mid-low option. I don't remember the correct string, but now he has three options on it now, even though it's negative. Oh, that's gonna hurt. What? A king That was a beautiful problem. He got the wall splow. Dude, and converted it back three rounds. Yeah, and he managed to convert into the other wall. Which is really rare to see. Not a lot of characters have like really good uh, resplat options, and I think Julia is like one of them. Julia has like actually really good wall sp- uh, resplat options when it comes to just like resetting the combo. Because for some characters, resplats just they just add damage to most characters. And she manages to really <laughs> take that damage further. So, like one with her ridiculously good ass wall carry, and two when she gets to the wall, she hits like a truck. That's still an impressive comeback, though, in that game where Death Samurai was two up and Yoge completely changed the momentum of that to take yeah. it in a reverse no round round. So he's two up right now. And 
Death Samurai isn't particularly checking uh, Julia for doing Party Crasher. He can be doing a lot of like generic downforce to knock him out of it. Because uh, Yoda's been doing like Party Crasher into Magic 4, Party Crasher into a 4 and 2. So he's just like leading the game. And Death Samurai just has to just like stick his leg out and say, hey, stop it. I want to play him. You're Julia. But I'm also Paul. Both of our characters are really dumb. So either of us get to play the game now. <laughs> Both of those characters are, as we had said before, once one of them gets the momentum, it's hard to stop them. <clears throat> because both of them are stupid good in almost every aspect of the game. So oh. yeah. We'll be going into match three, which right now I think Yoj has a two-game advantage. He managed to bring back a two-round lead, which was pretty impressive. Again, it's starting with a perfect two to command it. So, okay, let me let me explain to you how this is going to go. I'm going to get round one, and then I'm going to keep this ball rolling. Are, are, we at a, are we at an agreement? Nice. Let's go into game three. Now, let's see if the Samurai can start imposing his own will. Because he's, he's clearly able to do it in game one until Yoj managed to flip that script. But let's see if he can continue to impose his will in game three. Now the question is, do we get to see another flavor of Death Samurai cost? Are we gonna see blue Paul? Are we gonna what? see? <laughs> are we gonna see uh, purple Paul Ninja? Yo, I we think... might see Sub Zero Paul, Reptile Paul, Rain Paul, Noob Cybot Paul. What Honestly, else we got? Smoke Paul. One of the things that I found really cheesy about like the original Mortal Kombat is how like. 60% of the male cast looked identical, except, like, Kino. Uh, what was the name of the policeman? Uh, Striker, who was boring Stryker, as hell. Striker, <laughs> Liu Kang, and... Uh, Kung Lao, Raiden, Kung Lao. Those, are like, those are, like, the only males that stand out. And then you have, like, the rest oh, of the Jax female... Oh, and and Johnny Cage. And the rest of the female cast, which is just, like, a recolor of a female ninja. Pretty much. Which have, like, like different weapons. Here I come. Molina, Jade, Katana. But yeah. Hey, we got blue. <laughs> Sub Zero Paul. Round no skull mask this time. Fight. I called it Sub Zero Paul. We in here. We out here. Keep it fairly center stage again with those party crashers. That just looks like one of the most disrespectful punches ever. You just throw your whole body into that shit. Like the truest Superman punch you've ever seen. Oh, very interesting. Give me that arm drag, baby. Whoa! What? What a wall run. What a wall bounce. Turns out Julie's one of those characters that if she gets uh, behind uh, the back wall splat, um, they just don't like crumple away. So that's something new I learned. That's disgusting. Whoa, just raw death fist. Why not? Why break throws when you can just duck them? Oh, I'm throwing arrow. Oh, are you? Are you throwing right now? I think you're a little. I think I'm a little I could be, because I just saw a death fist. I'm either in front or I'm, or I'm behind. There's, there's just never me being in sync with people. Wait, did you say, what, what time are you on? I'm on like 48. Okay, now I'm on 50 seconds. 50 seconds. So I think I'm sliding on. Okay, so how are you behind me before then? <laughs> Did you, did I don't you, know. Yo, did you like, did you like fast travel? I don't know, man, but tech and lobbies and how sinking works don't actually make sense. It really so, doesn't. Yeah, one mix up into the bow and arrow, uh, it somehow went under Iron Man, which I was surprised about. That makes no sense. But let's be honest, how many times have people gone into mids? And this is coming from a Fang player, it happens a lot. <laughs> Sheesh, he's got a hell of a deficit to make up here. I stuck on the full crouch low. Yeah. Not that was missing, but yeah, Julia is kind of. You she is, like you said, there's nothing she's not good at except high crushing. Other than that, it's like, what's the point? She's just good at everything, man. It's, it's just uh, like a Swiss army knife that 
is really good on attack. Actually, I think, according to one of the people that I've heard from, um, Julia can only attack. But I don't think that's correct. I think hey, well, can... Imagine losing a match in a fighting ring to a woman wearing like six inch high heels and she says, don't forget to donate to my Patreon afterwards. Like, like wrestling boots is one thing, but I just got my ass beat with stilettos. <laughs> That's just not okay. So yeah. Because you know the stilettos played a part in that ass whooping. And so yeah, from the Death Samurai costumes that we've seen, I think so far we've seen We've seen a Scorpion, we've seen a Sub-Zero. What was the first one? The first one, that was Ermac. That was, that was old Ermac. Ermac. I want to see, do we have a Reptile or a Rain Paul? I want to see Reptile Paul. Isn't Rain purple? Rain's purple. Rain's purple? I'm going to have to fact check that. Yeah, Rain has a purple costume. Damn, but I, or or he could or we could have a black noob Cybot. Black noob noob Cybot, Cybot Paul. I hate MK designs. I hate how like half of them are so generic, man. <laughs> MK's whack. But I guess that's like part of the theme is like just a whole bunch of ninjas fighting each other in a ring. But who knows, man? You got a whole bunch of ninjas, and then you just got the dude with two claws in his arms and Goro. <laughs> and then you got the martial artists and the, the fucking God of Thunder or whatever, right? And the God of Wind. Yeah. Who's the God of Wind? Fujin. Fujin. I've never heard of these names. Fujin is what I need to get in Tekken. <laughs> Fujin. Because honestly, I've come honestly as much as I play this game. There's really no reason I should still be an orange rank, other than the fact that I just don't like playing ranked. I should be no less purple ranks right now. <laughs> is Fujin like a legacy character? Fujin was from Mortal Kombat. What was the earliest game he was in? I know that he was in Mortal Kombat Deception and Armageddon. So he's from one of the older ones. I want to say he was in Shaolin Monks as well. See, now I got to go through my Mortal Kombat history. But he's definitely a legacy character. I'm trying to figure out how far back he is from Mortal Kombat. Get ready for the next battle. 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 I don't remember perfectly. But I do know that Fujin's been around. He hasn't been around as long as Raiden. But he has been around pretty long. And then from and what I remember, games. and from what I remember, apparently Mortal Kombat had like a Tekken like 3D game, and there was like a million characters, and they had like a Meat Man. Oh yeah, they had that was an Armageddon where they had meat and mocap. <laughs> that game was ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy. Apparently, meat was kind of broken. Meat was broken, broken as hell. I hated meat with passion. All right. We got a different costume. Round I think one. he's rocking like a KOF Fight. style, like Terry Bogard. I think. Was that Ken Masters? No, no, it's not Ken Masters. It's uh, Andy from KOF. But it could it be. Could be. It's actually a, yeah, that is SF5 Ken. Yeah, that looks like that. That's that's Ken Masters from SF5. And that's perfect from Yoge. All he's missing is the Round banana hair. Two. Oh, Fight. good lord! That banana hair. Yeah, the sand, the sand from the gold hair. Good. <laughs> Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. And the running two one. Yoge just imposing his damn will right now. Who great for Yoge? I got to see Paul's run, not something I want to see every day. Fight. Nice tier one into the back of three. He's just going. Yoj is really just running off of all the momentum. He is not stopping. Yeah, like I said, man, Julia is a crazy character. You need to be, you need to be checking Julia a lot with like generic downforce. Like, Especially like, after party crash, you have to make her like try to go for a low parry. She like doesn't Beth, have right now. She is definitely having some struggles trying to at least stop the momentum of Yoj because that was a really Brutal three straight. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with you. I was not expecting four straight from Yoj. Not at all. Now, but are we, gonna, now, are we gonna see a 5 0? I don't wanna see a 5 0. I'm fairly confident in the best samurai can at least bring it back. 
but he's definitely can't let Yoge keep that momentum up because he was going to town. Especially in that last round. Even though it wasn't the perfect, that was probably one of the most aggressive rounds Yoge went through. Because it seems like Yoge is confident in the download, so he's just firing on all cylinders at this point. I don't think there's not a shroud of doubt in Yoge's mind anymore. I mean, I don't really play Julia, but from what I've seen, like, her Oki situations are so good. Um, her post cruise states guarantee her, like, 50 50 mix ups. Like, overall, she's just so well rounded. Like, she, she's just, uh, she kind of makes me think of, like, season 2 Jin in that map. Ugh. That character's a nightmare. And even after they nerfed him, he's still kind of a problem, but when it comes to Julia, there's... Uh, the only thing she's missing is like a 50... Uh, I think it's a 45 or like 50 damage LLR kick. And if she had that, I don't think nobody wants to play Tekken anymore. Everyone will play Julia. Oh yeah, at that point, it's... No, we're done. <laughs> it's it's going to be nothing but Julia's, Paul Phoenix's, Dragonov's, and Marduk's. <laughs> and Anna Williams is. I think I think the drag is kind of. I think he's falling behind. The, the only the only people that I see play drag are like the uh, drag. Well, in my opinion, the only reason that drag's falling behind is that there are other characters who are getting buffs, while he doesn't really need anything. Well, he did get nerfed actually one time, and that kind of um defeating the purpose of some of his combo setups other than that drag's still good drag low-key got the vega treatment in street fighter where he's a good character it's just that everybody else is getting what they finally need so now dragon off is reasonable Wait, are, you, are you talking about vega and sf5 yeah don't mention vega and sf5 because that character sucks that character has been sucking and he still sucks i will at least disagree and say that vega at some point was like a solid character that no one really cared about and pretty much underrated. I would I would say that he's a solid character, but everybody else started getting buffs. So the more the better every other character got, you just see Vega left in the dust. But yeah, but we're we're talking about like theoretical like tournament standards. There's not a lot of people that play like drag at the upper level in the U.S. Not anymore. Yeah, not like anymore. At, at first, there was it was drag. It was Paul. It was like a whole lot of Jack and a whole lot of Kazu. But Let's after they gave him the nerfs, like, Round a lot of people dropped drag. Fight. What a low parry to start it off. Oh, just ran in and demo, man. Oh, Joe's trying to pose his will now. Oppression session, bow and arrow. Oh, caught him on the wake up. Yeah, Doge is definitely... Look at how quickly he was able to just shift that momentum. Fight. Just slowly making the way back Delicious. Level 4 power crush. Ooh, down... Down one into death. That's a one-one even. In game five, Yoge trying to run away from with it and make it a five-zero. But I'm I'm waiting for that samurai to get that first game to get that mojo going. Shoulder to get some breathing room. Oh, once again with that high low mid, and Yoge is definitely on match point here. This could be all oh, down four too, but too far away. Nice punch on the hop kick. No duck on the party. I don't think I've seen uh, Rashid duck it yet. Not duck, duck. I see it. Checking in with a standing three. Oh, oh, oh. Into the raw while standing three. Come on, man. Oh, while well, standing three, too. We're going to double Luigi. Final round. All right, come on, death. This Fight. is it. This is the moment. Gotta see that game one. Gotta see that one game from you, brother. Oh, oh what a that's disgusting. All that damage. Um, gonna be it. That is a 
great 5-0 